N I G E R I A 62 Nigeria 62 the president of the Nigerian Society in Victoria. I reside in Melbourne and I'm here tonight for the Kunapa inauguration and very excited about it. Yeah. How long does it take you for you to fly all the way from It's um, approximately four hours from Melbourne to, to Perth. Yep. So why today is so special? It's special because it's the inauguration of the Council of, Associ of uh, Presidents, Association of Presidents in Australia. And uh, the 62nd Independence Day anniversary of our great country, Nigeria. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, hello, how are you doing? Yeah, uh, my name is Loki Ekator. I'm actually the Vice President of the Nigerian Society of Victoria. So Mrs. Remida, you just uh, had an interview with, she is my president. So we flew in from uh, Victoria, from Melbourne. So yeah, it's fantastic to be here. Fantastic to be here. Yeah. Why, um, what are the benefits of what that is the people going to benefit from today? Uh, basically, I think a lot of people haven't actually realized the uh, concept and the impact of Konapa. And uh, you see across the world, like uh, in the UK, in America, in Canada, you have the Nigerian Association or Nigeria in diaspora. Their voices are heard all the time. But like in Australia, we haven't actually developed that kind of platform to make our voices heard across the world, you know. So Kunapa launching of Kunapa today, or the inauguration of the Kunapa today, will pave that uh, opportunity for us to have that kind of uh, equal voice with other countries across the world, you know. So it's, it's, it's so inspiring to be here, you know. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, that's how we broadcast this live. to please lead us in the opening prayer of this special event. Please let us pray. Almighty Father, we want to say thank you for today. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your favors. Thank you for everything you've done for us, especially keeping us to see another Independence Day celebration. We are grateful, and today we gather together to give you thanks as we celebrate our nation. Father, we pray for our nation that we continue to protect the people. And that one day we'll shine like the sun. Our siblings, our relatives who are still in the nation, please we want to Father, we pray for our people and our nation. Father, today, as we are here, everything that we are doing, we commit it to your hands. We pray, Lord, that you will come and take the lead, guide us in this place. And at the end of this ceremony, all glory, honor, and
moderation. Vice President, Chair, Nigerian Community in Tasmania Lighthouse. Miss Sir, not Mr. Sir, Victor Ifejika, President, Nigerian Association of New South Wales. <laughs> Lastly, not the least, Mr. Frank Ehi, representing the to, to say the Nigerian National of the land upon which we've gathered today, the Wajok people of the Nunga Nation. I acknowledge the affinity to order, community, and land, and I pay my respect to the elders past, present, and imagined. Konapa, other Nigerian diaspora groups, NICOM and parliamentary diaspora committees in the House of Representatives and Senate will continue to collaborate in pursuit of this aspiration. As we inaugurate Konapa today, I want to reiterate this national forum is a vision whose time has come. As the peak leadership forum for all Nigerian national associations in Australia, Konapa is poised to strengthen our relationship with the Nigerian and Australian governments and advocate for the welfare of Nigerians in Australia. While nonpartisan, Konapa is also resolutely committed to the entrenchment of good governance in Nigeria. When I conceived the idea and shared this with the former Nigerian ambassador to Australia, Ambassador Bello Hussaini, I never envisaged the embrace by my colleagues from interstate, most of whom I had never met prior. With our collaboration over the last year of our former incorporation in Western Australia as its headquarters, Distant friends have become close neighbors, and Nigerian leaders across Australia are ever united in our shared vision and a resolve to ensure the voice of Nigerian Australians are heard beyond our borders. Thanks to my dear colleagues for sharing in the vision of pursuing our collective aspirations. And thank you particularly for coming to Western Australia to be part of this momentous occasion. Can I at this juncture please ask 
each member of Konapa to rise as I call your name and introduce you to the Nigerians and other visitors of ours. Dr. Shunaike has always been there for us. Uh, he's called me privately to encourage me uh, to provide inspiration to my ESCO. When the times are tough, the tough keeps going. So Dr. Shunaike, thank you for everything. And thank you for being a, a pillar in this community. Oh, by Flora Okita. So on behalf of now, I want to say, oh, be thank you for everything you've done for the youth. The next person on my list, so we're recognizing him for his leadership, innovative leadership in strengthening the African community in Western Australia. some unforeseen circumstances. But we thank him for his service to this community. Thanks Dr. Denny for accepting this uh, award on Dr. Wood's behalf. Now I give the microphone over to uh, MP Ayo Makucha to say one or two words on behalf of the Premier of Western Australia, the Honorable Mark McGowan. Thank you. Thank you, um, Joseph and Dr. Pedus, um, for having me here today. Um, can I begin by acknowledging the traditional um, custodians of the land on which we meet, the Wajak people of Noongar Nation. I pay my respect to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Can I also give acknowledgement to, to Joe and congratulations on winning. Those that came from interstate, please try to unite your community, and I think that's the, the message that has been going around in Western Australia. Let's unite and let's work together as the umbrella body, and then now let's work with our younger um, communities underneath. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for Ayo. N I G E R I A 62. Nigeria 62. Thank you very much. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for having us, and thank you for all the support. Uh, I want to thank every member of CONAPA present here and those that are not present, especially Dr. Pedos. He has worked tirelessly. We've written so many letters to the Nigerian government to promote our agenda to have this day a reality. And uh, we've enjoyed the cooperation of LIPCOM especially. And we are very proud to tell you that all like, things like me and even the ones that we are still pressing, especially the diaspora votes, will continue to do. And uh, I just want to say that I'm proud to be the current uh, secretary of this. I have a daughter. She was born in South Africa. She, she's only been to Nigeria once. She grew up in Australia. And when people ask her where she's from, she'll say, I'm Australian. And they'll say, where are you originally from? And then one day she came home and she said, Mom, people keep asking me where I'm originally from. What do I tell them? I said, tell them you're Nigerian. At this stage, she's never been to Nigeria. She was a teenager. And she said, but I've never been to Nigeria. I said, yes, but your heritage is Nigeria. If you tell people outright I'm Nigerian, no one will ever ask you where you are originally from. So let's keep that in the, at the back of our minds. Let's continue to tell our children that they have a heritage. Let's continue to tell them that they can be proud of their heritage. The story we tell them would, would determine what they are going to say and wish for the country. Let's not tell them about the story of despondency. Yes, things are not going right in our country. We are not proud of it. But at the same time, let's continue to encourage ourselves as much as we can uh, encourage our children. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to speak. And I wish uh, we continue to enjoy the night. And good luck with everything, everyone. And I thank every member of the Council of Kunapa 
who is here present and even those for whom we will listen to their goodwill messages shortly and those who cannot be here. So uh, I thank you for the opportunity given me to make this remark and I, I, I thank all of you that are here and we will continue to do our best for our people. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Omi. So please, as uh, leaders go back to their seats, let's give them a big round of applause for the onerous task that they have taken upon themselves to do for us. Please, you can go back to your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. There's sometimes the young people are now following some traits from the Western world that are not African culture. It's not how it's done in Africa, where the whole village raises the child. So in that sense, don't give up working. But who do they listen to? They listen to those from their own age group. So your task is to work with your youth leaders to reach out to those ones that are uh, in danger. And in the end, those youth also have to look to their elders and find a way to realise that both offer so much towards each other. Thank you for having me here. It's an honour to be here and have a great rest of your day. Any fronts, you know, we're always very um, happy to hear and to make amends. Nobody's perfect, no group is perfect. We aim to improve all the time, but we need to hear it but in a respectful manner, yet our children are watching. If there's anything that drives me in my community service, it is my children watching and listening to me and hearing what I'm saying and seeing what I'm doing. That's what keeps me going, you know, because it's a very, you know, it's, um, I would not lie, it's not easy, you know, it's not easy. It is hard, you know, being, serving in the community, but it is worth it when I see something like this come together. It is worth all the effort. And so I just implore all of us, you know, I'm just imploring all of us, you know, I, it's good to be vulnerable sometimes. Um, there's no point me thinking, you know, saying all is together. We, we, we are a work in progress, our community. Each one of us, we are a work in progress. But if we don't keep working, we can never get to where we want to get to. I get passionate when I talk about legacy. So, <laughs> thank you for being here again. And let us keep working together, you know, to make our community um, the community of our collective dream. Together, we are stronger and better. Thank you so much. These are the ones that keep this association of
Where 